agricultural land. One morning, this one sadhu, he was wearing saffron. He greeted Prabhupada. And then the next morning, again, he was there. You know, he would do this every day, and then he started following us. Then each day he would come closer and closer to Prabhupada so that he could hear. And then one day he said something to Prabhupada, and Prabhupada replied to him. And then each day he would come and they would talk more and more. Then at the end of the war, when Prabhupada would go in the temple, he would, he would go on his way. But then one morning then he, he came in, did the morning program, and then one morning, Prabhupada would go into his house before coming to the temple. And then he came in, Prabhupada invited him. And then Prabhupada told me, all right, he's joining, you know, prepare him, give him a room, whatever facilities. And he was uh, Gaur Govinda. That's how he joined, Gaur Govinda Swami. And Prabhupada initiated him, gave him sannyas, everything. But he he was living in Vrindavan as a uh, you know as a sadhu as a renunciate, and just by seeing Prabhupada on the morning walk, each day more and more he became drawn in, and then he surrendered. So Prabhupada was making devotees just by going on the morning walk. I remember one lecture in Fogel Ashram. <laughs> Prabhupada was saying. So, my devotees, you know, you are so many, and you have spent each so much money to come here. He was adding it all up. He was saying, uh, this, is, this is the right use of money, that devotees should come every year to become inspired, and then to go back and to preach. You know, so he was encouraging devotees to come. One morning we took a walk with Srila Prabhupada. At one stage, of bullock cart passed by with a few passengers in it. Srila Prabhupada commented how, how nice the simple life was, how people don't really need motor cars and luxuries, um, but they can just live very simply. We would walk past fields and Prabhupada said that all you really need to live is grains, rice, and dal. He said you don't even really need to have vegetables to live. You can just live from grains and um, save time for Krishna consciousness. I was having trouble with Rahu planet, you know, for 18 years, and I think nine or ten more years to go. And I went to an astrologer.